So in chapter 47 of Genesis, we see that this famine is continued throughout the land. And the three main characters here are Joseph, Jacob, slash Israel, and Pharaoh. And interestingly enough about this chapter, as we saw yesterday, um, though the Israelites to, or the Egyptians despised the uh, shepherds, the Israelites were shepherds, so they get the best of the land of Goshen we see today. So not only do they get free land, but the best of the land because they are Joseph's family. And so Pharaoh gives favor to the Israelites. Um, and I think this is something that we should take note of because that's that although Pharaoh was an Israelite, though he doesn't worship the one true God, that God's people find favor in his eyes. Okay, so when um, we trust God, when we're living in uh, line with God, we often will come under his blessing. Now, of course, just like we're going to see after this later in Genesis, right? Times of persecution may come. And sometimes that's not of our own doing. However, uh, on the flip side, right? When we live a truly Christian life, when we live in God's will, um, there are going to be even non-Christians that take notice. Uh, there will be even people that aren't of our church or uh, perhaps even of the faith uh, that ultimately uh, realize that we mean no harm and are good people. Now, there's going to be the opposite. But as we see here in this chapter, uh, we should take note of that, that, that uh, Joseph wisely... Right, So there also is wisdom here and the way he approaches the situation. He doesn't go out there shouting and claiming we're the true Israelites and you Egyptians are, are pagans and, and condemned to hell. He, he doesn't yell and shout and make himself obnoxious. Right, He uh, wisely uh, intercedes and uh, stands for uh, his family and for Israel, his father, who will be the father of the Israelites, of the Jewish people, of the nation. And so we see both the favor of God, but also that is brought about by a shrewd and wise action on Joseph's part. And so that's what I want to encourage us with today is to, uh, we see some other things in the story. Jacob shares with Pharaoh that his life is hard, right? His life was hard. It was short compared to his, his ancestors. He feels old now. And it had been long and, and, and hard. So sometimes even when for godly people, right? When we compare ourselves to others, we might be like, man, I got the short end of the stick. It might be hard for me. But he's blessed here, even in his old age. And I guess we could take note of that, right? That uh, we can't compare ourselves to others. But when we're faithful, we will find a blessing on God. Maybe that happens early in life and persecution comes and God restores us. Or maybe early in life things were tough and God brings us out of that. Or maybe we're just going through it now. Uh, or maybe we're coming out of a, a, a time of, of, of hardship. Wherever, whatever we're going through, realize as we trust in God, He has our best interests in mind. Let us act wisely. Let us try to live at peace with all men uh, that we might find the blessing of God and that we might glorify God uh, by our, our faith and by our action. And so let us live wholeheartedly, um, realizing that, God has us in his hands, and all we're to do is just to uh, be available, uh, right? And that we're to make ourselves his people, his servants.